Okay, let's continue with this optional video for testing Salesforce with Virtuoso for functional UI testing. Now this video is covering off if you have OTP enabled, then how can you go ahead and set up to be able to get uh, your verification code automatically in your tests. But also if you want to enable this to show you how you can do so. So with OTP number one in Salesforce, if we come back over here, it does require you to have OTP set up. And to do that, if you have privileges in your profile, you can click on settings. Then you can click on your advanced user details. And then what you need to have is your app registration one-time password authenticator. You need to have that connected. And to do this, you're gonna be doing this in conjunction with having one of the authenticator apps like Google Authenticator installed on your phone. Now to do this, first off, we connect and it will ask you to log in. And then importantly here, normally you can scan the QR code and do that through Authenticator app to set this up. Now to do that though, what we wanna do here is we need to have the actual key used. So we actually need to click here, I can't scan the QR code. And then you're gonna to need to take a copy of this key and just drop that down somewhere. That's really important because that's the key Virtuous is gonna to use to automatically go and get the OTP. So what you're going to have to do here is go into Authenticator app and go ahead and set up your account. Now I'm doing this on my mobile phone, but basically as you go in, you're going to set up a new account, enter a setup key, put in your account name. So just use your uh, username that you use to log into Salesforce with, and then you're going to have to put in that uh, key. So you could send that in a text message to yourself and copy it in. And once that's done, you can put in the OTP that's generated and then connect and that connects your Authenticator app. And you can see now our one-time password Authenticator is connected. So now all we need to do is come back into Virtuoso into our environment. And what we're gonna do is update the OTP key. And by doing that, if we click on edit, we can then paste in the value and save that. Now, what that OTP key is gonna drive is in our extensions. So we mentioned these in the last video. The extensions are you can create your own natural language and then create JavaScript that will run when you call that natural language. So in this case, this small script is going to pass in the OTP key, which is taking an input from the environment, and then it calls across to a library that will call into the Authenticator app to basically use the OTP key to get an OTP. So now with that's already set up, we've got the Authenticator, we've set it up in our environment, so then in our test, if we jump back, back across over there and rerun it, then we'll see that it will use the OTP where we have the authenticator uh, set up within Salesforce. And we can see that as we do that, it logs in, goes to the authenticator screen, generates, writes the value in, clicks on verify, and now that's gone through and it's basically authenticated us with the 2FA by using a, a, a one-time password that's been generated. Now, just one final thing here. You'll notice that we've got a couple of comments that mark that the OTP, step, uh, OTP steps are actually marked, if I click on here, that if they don't appear to continue and raise a warning. Now, the reason for doing this is that even within Salesforce instances that have 2FA or OTP, it doesn't always require OTP. And that, I think, is picking up on IP addresses of the user. Now, what we've done then is just said that even though we've got these steps here that will fill this in, if they are not present, the test can still continue just because we've got it marked as continue and raise warning in the step behavior. Otherwise, if the OTP, if the OTP does appear, then of course it will write it in the box and then click verify. So that hopefully has helped you get set up if you're using the authenticator uh, OTP with, for the 2FA within Salesforce so that you can still get logged in.